guys, welcome back to another video of mine. Today is the day, okay? So you guys are probably like, today is the day, Nikki. What are you talking about? What do you mean today is the day? As you can see, I am playing some PUBG right now. Um, I'm actually doing a spectating one that uh, I didn't record it. I don't know why. So I got my first, my first chicken dinner. And I've been playing this game for months now, and I just can't believe I got my chicken dinner. Like, just finally got it. <laughs> oh, it's so stressful. I don't even, I think I just got it by luck. Um, when I was playing this game, it was like 7 in the morning. No, 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 no. It was like 6 in the morning. And why was I up at that time? Good question. <laughs> I was up because it was time for me to get up or, well, go to bed actually at 6 o'clock. I'm doing overnights for a few days at my job, so I'm trying to get into the, you know, the routine of going to bed at 7 in the morning and then getting up at 4 o'clock p.m. in the afternoon just to get my schedule on, on, you know, check. So I thought, well, let's play some PUBG for most of the night. So here we are playing some awesome PUBG. And as you can see, I actually find a M1, is it M114 is what, it, what it's called? I don't know. I found a gun, okay? As you can see, a shotgun and a regular gun, which is great. Uh, I don't think I had anyone near me except for the person you see right now in front. Uh, they were still quite far from me and... Uh, I don't know, I think they lasted until the end with me. I don't think we were the last two, but he was a uh, ham hum. I, I don't know, people spell names weird on this game, I swear. And I was on a US server, also. Don't forget I was on a US server. But uh, at this point, I'm just looking around the city to see uh, what there is in here, because I still have crap for gear, as you can see. I still don't even have a vest, nothing. I just have at least a gun, but that's all I got, and that's not gonna fly in this game. I need a helmet, and, you know, your vests and all that. So I'm looking around, checking all my corners, making sure no one sneaks up on me. I have the worst tendencies of being um, killed in <laughs> in a house, because I don't check corners, so. But here you see I found a vest, and a helmet, which I needed. That's all I needed was a helmet and a vest. So that's awesome. That was way awesome. Gunshots off to my left. And a better helmet. Yes, now we're rocking. We're rocking and rolling. Okay, so I know I heard some gunshots, but I just didn't know where all these people were. Uh, I was actually kind of terrified because I thought I'd run into somebody. As you can see, there's two people off to my left, but I don't even see them once, and it's crazy. It's so crazy that I didn't even see anybody at this point. There's people all around me, but uh, I'm not even freaking out about it, which is good, which is good. I hear a lot of shots going off. I'm just trying to get some extra loot. Uh, but I, I'm pretty, I'm not too far out from the circle, but I need to get moving as soon as possible. I really wish this would show you the dotted line and stuff to tell you how far you are away from um, your your destination, but uh, it doesn't. <laughs> I just also wanted to apologize, guys, for uh, the lack of videos that I have been post not been posting on my channel. As you guys know, every Wednesday and Friday I have a upload. Well, technically I should have an upload every Wednesday and Friday, but this week has not been that way, and there is no excuse for it. So, yeah. gun shuts off to my my right and I'm being very sneaky and I'm trying really hard to not be noticed just because I do not want to be spending this much time in a game just to get killed uh it's like the worst feeling ever I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about when you played like 30 minutes into this game just running and getting gear just to get sniped across the map and killed yeah it's the greatest feeling ever isn't it guys <laughs> There's some more gunshots. Off to my right and left. That's okay. I keep going. It looks like there's one guy in front of me still. Um, 
I don't think he's real close, so I don't think uh, he even knew I was there. <laughs> And again, guys, I just want to apologize. I uh, really, really wish I would have just recorded this uh, so you guys could hear me talk and speak in this instead of having to do an overlay with my voice on here. Um, but I still hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new and you want to see more kinds of this kind of stuff. Let me know in the comment section also if you want to see more uh, Battle Royale. Bi blah, blah. <laughs> more of uh, PUBG. If you do, like I said, let me know. I, I really do love your guys' feedback. I didn't realize how great this spot is to, like, snipe people. This spot is, like, the best. Except when I'm stupid enough to do this and hurt myself quite a bit. <laughs> I was like, are you fucking kidding me right now? That's fine. I think I had a whole bunch of stuff to heal myself up with, so I wasn't too worried. Yeah, I think I just took some pills. So, you know, if you're hurt and take some pills. <laughs> Don't really. <laughs> right now, I'm trying to beat the blue because I'm outside the circle at the moment, and uh, I do not want to lose damage. It's the worst thing ever when you die in the zone, in the zone because, you know... <laughs> You didn't run on time out of the out of its way Right here. I'm checking my sides making sure there's nobody This is so pretty this map gets me every time if you look out like look at that view like off to the front of me like You'll see it here in a minute. I don't know what is with this map. Um, maybe it's because it reminds me a lot of where I live. Uh, if you guys didn't, well, where I used to live. If you guys don't know, I live in Utah. Um, before, I lived in a place called Kanab, Utah. Uh, it's like, like, right between, uh, Bryce Canyon and, uh, the Grand Canyon and everything like that. I was, like, right, like, an hour away from each, like, national park. Kanab was so beautiful. It was red like this map. It had your plateaus, your... You know, you had all these cool, like, all the shrubs and stuff. It wasn't very green, but it was super red and pretty. This map reminds me of my hometown where I used to live. And it makes me really happy when I play on here. <laughs> that, that's pretty funny, honestly. I don't live in Knapp anymore, but um, it's definitely a pretty place. If you guys want to, you could Google it and see what it's like. It's super red and awesome. I'm serious. Like, I love it. And right here, I'm just scanning for enemies, making sure, you know, <laughs> that I don't get snuck up on. Because the blue line is coming in right now. And I just, I really don't want to be shot in the back. So I'm hiding in this little hut, keeping myself safe. Even got me a little van if I want to use the van. Which I don't because, you know, vans are, well, cars in general are very noisy. And this game is all about stealth and quietness and just overall shooting skills. So, yeah. Like, look at that view, guys. <laughs> this map is so beautiful. I love this. Like, I love open, like, maps like this. Um, anyways, I know I'm talking a lot about the map. The map's so pretty. I love it. But, uh, anyways, so right now I'm running, um, I'm running off because there's no one that came up to the blue line. The blue line is now at its, um, area it's supposed to be. I'm, j I'm not too far away from the next circle, but I decided to just run off anyways just so I could get on like a top of a mountain or something to, you know, make sure that I don't get sniped or anything. Um, as right now I'm just checking my back, making sure there's no one coming through the blue line, you know. See, this is, this is what you gotta do. If you never get a chicken dinner, just, just remind yourself to like, um, look behind you 24-7 because if you do that, there's a chance that you will find someone behind you and you'll be able to kill them before they can kill you, hopefully. Um, my greatest advice is to always check around you 24-7. Like, every, every, like, 10 seconds, check behind you. Or even more frequently. A lot of people check more frequently than that. But I, I like to do it, like, at least every 10 seconds or so. But uh, right now, I'm just scavenging up some stuff because, yeah, no. Yellow. Yellow or go home. <laughs> um... Uh, I'm actually gonna go up in the hill right there in front of me, uh, just because it's a hill. Like I said, I wanted to go up on top of a mountain or a hill to have an advantage about uh, over people. I don't see anybody, if I remember correctly. There was nobody. Uh, I think there was a truck, a truck that I saw, but that was all. 
You see the guy? He's in a truck. I don't know why, but he's driving towards the blue line. I have no idea what this guy was up to. He left me alone. I don't think he even saw me. So I just continued baha and away because I didn't want to like, I really didn't want to find anybody unless I accident accidentally had to. Wow. If I absolutely had to, I would, but I really didn't want to find anybody if I didn't have to because, you know, I just wanted to make it to the top five. Or 10, even. Would have been great. Right now, we're at 32, I believe. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty good for me, actually. Usually, I die within the f 50, like, 58th place or around there. Or, more, like, the 80th place. <laughs> I'm terrible at this game, guys. I don't even know how I survived this one. But, uh, yeah. So, we get on top of this mountain. I decide, well, why not just be in one of these houses? I could have chose the other house. I wish I did, because this house was shit. And I'm saying that because look at this window. It's way too high. I can't even aim my gun without freaking out. It's like a glitched window or something. Like, at first I'm fine, like, right now. And then all of a sudden I glitch out. Like, I will just glitch out. Yep, see? Like, glitching. And it's bad. I don't know what this window's problem was, but... <laughs> And I'm like stuck for a minute. I couldn't get out. And I was like, oh, this is great. This is great. So I backed up a little bit and then I was able to do this. But if I were to look down anymore or anything like that, it'd freak out again. So this window was a bust. If you see this top of the mountain and try to go in this building, don't. It's it's stupid. It's the stupidest freaking building ever. Uh, this window was fine, but uh, the other window was crap. Oh, well, no, I guess it was a crappy window too. Well, there you go. <laughs> don't go into these this building, okay? So at this point, I'm coming down the mountain, and I see this huge, huge ass field, okay? And this scares me, because fields with, it's like a valley, and anyone could be on any top, any of the top of these mountains here, and they could just snipe me, shoot me, and kill me. Open field, perfect. I do not know what was going on. There was nobody over here. There is two people, as you can see, off to the buildings, off to the right. Um, but they're fighting each other. They don't even see me, which is great. Because if they did, I'd be, like, a dead person. There'd be no if, what's, or buts about it. But thank God I didn't have to deal with that. Because, yeah. I think there's actually three people up there. Um, they No one noticed me. Or if they did, they didn't bother me. Because they were so in tune to killing each other up there. So I was able to get to cross this field and up to the mountain to go to the next circle. Uh, I think I was fine at this point, so I don't know why I was freaking out, but... Uh, yeah, so I continue going up this hill and uh, checking my back, because you know that's what you need to do. Uh, it was a scary situation, honestly. This this whole valley thing is scary. If you ever get caught in a situation where you're in a valley like that, try to go around the top of it to go around if you can. If you don't have time and the blue is coming in, yeah, I guess you're stuck going into the valley. Either way, you're going to die. Uh, <laughs> it was the scariest time of my life. But I'm checking down the valley because if someone did also come down that valley, I was going to kill them. <laughs> And then you hear people off to the right of the buildings. They are killing each other. Which, hey, yeah, that's fine with me. If they kill each other and I don't have to, that's that's the best thing ever. <laughs> and I didn't realize there was a guy off to my right on top of the mountain, I believe. He wasn't even that far away from me. As you can see, I show up the map a little bit here and there just to show you how close everybody was to me. Almost everybody was in this vicinity of the map, which was crazy. So, um... Yeah, there's there's still two people or yeah, so there's me and this other guy running towards the Mesa del Vera or whatever the heck it was. Uh Valle, Valle, and uh, there's a guy behind us, but he's not really bothering us cuz he's too far. I think he's in a car though, so he might be bothering us in a little bit. But I'm just busting ass because this mountain's huge and I don't want that blue line coming in and killing me, you know, cuz like I said, it's the worst when you get killed by either somebody or the line. It's 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 a nightmare. Gunshots off to the top there, as you can see. I can't see them, but I didn't want to either. There's a car.
Yep. So the car just goes down below, so I don't have to worry about much. Um, I was happy about that because I really didn't want to b get bothered by another person, you know? This view right here is just breathtaking. And I hurt myself again. I think I'm the best at doing that. <laughs> As you... Oh, here's another guy. At this point, I thought that guy saw me, so I'm, like, shooting at him. And then he tries to fucking run me over, so I'm like, what the hell? I can't even shoot him. I can't shoot with crap. I don't even know what is my problem. But when I go up here, the guy is, like, gone. and Like, he's dead. I don't know if he backed out of the game or what, but he is obviously dead. So, he didn't really have much on him either, so it wasn't too much. I think he had some bandages, uh, med packs. He had med packs, uh, partial med packs, and then he had a gun. Nothing too snazzy. But I did take those med packs, which was a good idea. As you can see, the blue line is coming right up behind me. <laughs> like, I need to start booking it. And I can't figure out how to get out of first person. And I'm just freaking out because I'm like, I'm going to die by the blue line. This is it. I've come this far to die. And it passes me. <laughs> I'm, like, so upset about it because it sucks, you know? So I'm running for my freaking life. And I'm just, like, leaving first person on because I don't want to look at the buttons and get shot, you know, without paying attention so i'm just continuing running trying to survive <laughs> i'm sorry i just i can't this is funny it's funny to do this in like third person almost like a narrator is that weird i don't know i find this weird anyways I'm, i finally get to the button i'm like fuck it if i'm gonna die i want to die third person so i can see where the heck my killer was you know um, so i'm running I'm running like the wind and the line is not too far from me. I have to stop because I had to get a med pack. <laughs> Use some pills and med packs because, yeah, it, it was bad. It was bad. So I pop a med pack and I pop some pills and I'm off again. And I believe those shots that I heard were on top of the mountain, like just a little bit past the blue line, which worried me because I was like, God damn it, I'm going to die. I'm going to die either by the blue line or by somebody on top of the mountain. But I think they were all too busy trying to, like, kill each other that they didn't even realize this person running across the road. <laughs> Which was a stupid move for me to run across the road like that. Um, but, you know, you live, you learn. So the blue line is so close to me. At, at this point, I was like, well, you know, might as well go into a building. Because if I don't go into a building and heal myself... Uh, we're gonna have problems. So I, I decided to go into one of these buildings. I think there was only one other guy that was in this town with me. Everyone else was on top of that mountain. I think just trying to be in the middle of the circle, you know? Um, so it gave me an advantage to actually pop some meds again to get me healed up. At least just a little bit because this, it was bad. This, the blue line kicks my butt every time I swear. And I add a new scope onto my gun, uh, which is good. And then I looked at my uh, my time again, and I have, what, like 50 seconds or something like that before the line moves up on me again. So I'm, like, freaking out, you know. There's all these people around, and most of them are either on top of the mountain or on the side, so... There was, like, one other guy with me, but, uh, we were still pretty far away from each other. So I'm just trying to run to avoid the blue line, but there's no way I'm gonna avoid that blue line. Like, <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's gonna kill me. At least that's what I thought. I was like, oh god, I'm gonna fucking die right here, right now. I can't get out of this town. <laughs> there's too many obstacles. So, yeah, like I said, I'm running for my life once again. Almost completely healed, but then ran into the blue line again. And then there's a bunch of people up on top of this, these mountains, and it's just, it's bad stuff. It's bad stuff. So I'm just, I'm just trying to survive with this blue line right now. It's killing me. It's literally killing me.
At this point, I didn't realize how fast my health was going down, and then I saw what it was doing, and I was like, fuck it, I got- I have to run. I gotta- and then I had- well, I was gonna run, and then I realized how close my health was going down. I was so lucky I stopped when I did, because my health was almost completely gone. <laughs> the med packs really do help, even if it's one of the small med packs. It still- it still works. It still works. So once I get the blue line, I was like, oh god, I gotta heal up. I gotta do something. And I think I only had bandages at this point, but it was something. I can hear people off to, like, right in front of me, as you can see. There's a couple people. Then by the time I looked at the time again, it's almost time for me to go again. Because if I don't, the blue line will kill me. <laughs> uh, I think this was more of a game for me running. Running away from the blue. Because I think this is like, I literally ran into no one yet. Uh, it's just been me and the blue line. I mean, I ran into that one guy. But he ended up not trying to kill me. He just left the game or something i don't know what that was all about but yeah <laughs> i hate these mountains too because when you're trying to go up them they don't like you to run and i'm like hurting for time as it is because you know <laughs> i'm just not even i'm not close to where i need to be There's people off to my left, right in front of me, off on the road, house houses and stuff. And I think there's one guy right next to me too, which um, you'll see here what happens. This is the final zone, pretty much. So I'm army crawling because I don't want people noticing I'm there, you know? There's like a guy right next to me. I can't believe he didn't see me. I'm right in front of me. There's a guy you see on top of the hill. I saw him, but I didn't want to challenge him. I'm trying to be very sneaky here. Get into the shadows and behind a tree. Then you hear a guy behind me. And I freak out. I'm like, oh my god, what? So I'm like slowly, slowly trying to not get noticed. He's like right out on the other side of the block. I or the <laughs> the rock. I thought he was gonna be above me. I thought he was above me the whole time, but he was on the side of me, I guess. And I started freaking out. Sounded like it was above me again. I knew there was a guy in front of me, or there was, and then there was that guy. At this point, there's only four of us alive, and I'm freaking out. I don't even think I noticed there was only four of us, though. I was freaking out because I thought that guy was still above me, but then I was like, maybe that was the guy. So I didn't want to challenge anybody or give away my position, so I'm just waiting patiently. this point i'm like sweating i'm sweating i think i noticed that there's only four alive at this point so i was sweating so now there's three alive one guy just got killed i still didn't know where that other guy was i just only knew where the guy up on top of the hill was and he doesn't even see me and i have crappy aim i don't know how i killed that guy but i killed him so now there's only two of us and i'm like i don't even notice this i don't even notice that there's only two of us, and I'm trying to run with the line, and it's not working, and I'm just hurting myself, and <sighs> stress. That's what it was this at this point, and I'm like, oh, God, I got to heal. I was like, well, if I don't heal, I'm dead anyways, so I was like, you know, just fucking heal, and I don't know where this guy is. I didn't know he was right, like, on my left. All I knew is that I thought he might be on the other side of the road, which he's not. <laughs> 
but you'll see how I think this guy I was going against has a maybe he hasn't played a lot. Like I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm still healing because I'm trying to get ready for the battle, my final battle, hoping I'll win this. Oh God. <laughs> nervous even thinking about it so I start army crawling because I don't know where this guy is I didn't want to give away my position you know I'm still thinking he's in front of me like an idiot and then I see him with terrible aim I hit him a few times but he's still not dead I must have had a level 3 helmet Decide to go take cover in his trees that he's also with. He can't see me. Hit him again. I'm like, how the fuck is he not dead? I'm like, I'm like shaking right now. And then you see I have seven health. And I'm like freaking out. And I'm like, no, I'm not fucking gonna lose this. And and then it's over. I killed him, and I was like, at first, like, oh, fuck, I fucking died, are you kidding me? And then I'm like, wait, winner, winner, chicken, what? I what? I fucking what? I was, like, freaking out, screaming, like, oh, but, well, not screaming, because it was 6 in the morning, my girlfriend killed me, but I was, like, so excited. But thanks, guys, for watching. <laughs> you guys have a great day, okay?